The four electronic flight instrument system, EFIS, displays provide the pilots with flight data to help them operate the aircraft in a safe and efficient way. Flight parameters are displayed on primary flight displays, PFD, while navigation data is displayed on navigation displays, ND. Each pilot has an EFIS control panel to select what is displayed on the EFIS screens. The EFIS control panels are divided into two sections, one section associated with the PFD and the other with the ND. The flight control unit, FCU, is located in the middle of the glare shield. The FCU is one of the interface units between the pilots and the auto flight system. The full use of the FCU will be covered in the auto flight modules. There are selectors on the FCU which will affect the indications seen on the PFD and ND. And it is only these selectors that will be discussed in the EFIS modules. The selectors with associated indications are provided for speed, heading track, altitude, vertical speed flight path angle, FPA. The metric altitude push button is also part of the altitude area. This push button is used to display the selected altitude in meters on the permanent data part of the system display. As an option, the selected and actual altitudes in meters on the PFDs. You will see how all these selectors affect the EFIS displays in the modules that follow. The two chrono push buttons located on the glare shield control the associated chronometer display on the NDs. The push buttons operate like a normal stopwatch. In this module, we have introduced you to the electronic flight instrument system. In the next modules, we will look at the PFD and the ND in greater detail.